Hi everyone, I'm Felix Weiss and um, how many of you use Visual Studio Code? Apparently quite a few, yeah, it's a, it's a great tool. Microsoft obviously has done a lot of, a lot of work uh, and one of the things that's exciting, I actually saw it just maybe ye yesterday, you may have seen it in the, uh, in the Python uh, weekly email that they now support Jupyter Notebooks natively in the uh, in Visual Studio Code. And so I wanted to quickly show this. Of course, having no preparation, I needed to figure out, well, what do I actually show? And that I can show, other th and that's not some work, uh, other work that uh, I shouldn't be showing here. So I took a presentation I gave um, earlier this year at uh, our uh, IndiePy meetup, where I actually at the time or for, for that presentation, really the goal was to show how to use, how to build a Flask app in Docker to um, how, how easy that is. And then as an example, I actually showed how to build a OCR server with Tesseract that, uh, and put a REST um, API in front of it and then call it from the Jupyter Notebook. And so now here I turn it around and just show the Jupyter Notebook. So this is running in Visual Studio Code. It actually, Jupyter Notebook actually, or, or Visual Studio Code runs the Jupyter server. So you don't, you can connect to one remotely that's you know, running local, or running on the machine or, or, or remote remote, but it actually starts one itself as necessary. So here, what I'll show here is um, how I'm talking. Oh, it's starting this. So, so it, it started the server and obviously executed the, uh, the first cell. And so here I connect to my, uh, to a local server using, and then use the um, requests to send images and get back the, the result. So let's do this here. So I have an image that I loaded and I plot it. So you can see here, it does that all in line. So I get the output in line. And so this is the image we'll, uh, we'll try to do some uh, OCR on. So run it here. And I get back the, the result. Now, a few things to show here is, first of all, you can see Visual Studio Code actually lets you see the, the local variables or the variables that are in that kernel. So you can, you can uh, and here, obviously, not very exciting ones. In addition, though, I can take, if I'm at an image here, for example, I can open that in a separate, in a separate tab, zoom in, look at it more closely. But where, the, where this does get interesting, let's say if you have graphs, because that's for data more interesting. So let's uh, go here, because what I'm showing here is what happens if the image is not actually straight, and see the OCR server doesn't really like that. So, um, oh. showing how you can turn the, or, so here I'm do doing a graph, a histogram of the pixels, and you can see here if I, again, if I, I, ca I can look at this more closely, directly in the, uh, in, in the, um, in Visual Studio Code, as you obviously, those of you familiar with Trooper Notebooks, that's quite a bit of, uh, of hassle. Now, in addition, if it's actually a, a pandas data frame, or in this case, a, um, uh, a NumPy array, you can actually drill down into it. It has a data viewer where you can then even filter on rows. For example, show me everything that's less than 20 directly in it without having to do in a, a cell with a, with a data frame dot whatever range. And I think I'm out of time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, excellent. Oh, I guess we got a question real quick. Uh, like any rig with Jupyter Notebook? Yes. It's just variables like, it's more than a GitHub. Pardon? How, how do you get the variables more than working? Is that only 
that's, nat uh, that's, that's natively supported by Visual Studio Code now. So this is all just, again, I just saw this yesterday, played with it a little bit, and this is, uh, and they will support debugging locally in the individual cells. That's what they're working on. Because it, Yeah, no, this is, again, I literally just open, or pulled, uh, pulled or synced to my GitHub repo and opened the notebook in, in, in Visual Studio Code. And it just, it, you can see it actually, you saw it, it launched the kernel, oh, the, the, the server and, uh, and locally connected to it. Yeah, so for example, let's try see if I here have a, um, oh, actually, let's see, IMG, I thought that at least it, um, it did it when I tried it last time. So it'll, it'll show, again, auto-completion uh, and, uh, and uh, IntelliSense 